I've got an item coming up. I went jet skiing and it was really cool fun. Here it comes. <laughs> Tell me something about it? Not really. Jamie's the one to see about that. Oh, okay. Hmm. Maybe the noise isn't so bad after all. Jamie Anderson could be just the man for some wild fun and possibly a few introductions. Why do you jet ski? Because I love it. I've been doing it for about 11 years now. Um, it's addictive once you get started. It's just fantastic. Competition-wise, where are you rated? Not number one, number two. But going for number <laughs> getting, one? Getting there, always going for number one. Always. What's your goal in jet skiing? Is there, are there pinnacles to climb? Can you go overseas yes. and compete or what? There are. The goal is to end up at uh, Lake Havasu in Arizona, in the States, for the world finals. Wow. Um, that's the goal of every, uh, every jet skier. <laughs> the hardest thing to do would be uh, probably maneuvers out in the surf doing aerial tricks, um, 360s and, and so on, doing, doing jumps off waves. That's, that's the thing you've got to master. Do you often get people like complaining and whinging about the noise that you make? Uh, you only really get it occasionally um, on public crowded beaches, um, yeah. but you have to stay 200 metres out if you want to go over five knots um, at you know, busy beaches and so on. Yeah. So you've just got to behave yourself, really. And being a, um, being a jet skier, being one of the jet ski boys, do you, do you get kind of a bad boy stigma? Do you get kind of known as a bit of a baddie? Oh, uh, not really. Not no? Really. Not really. But you're not the nerds of the sea, are you? Not at all. And these guys can't afford to be nerds. With a new jet ski costing between ten dollars to $16,000, it's an expensive hobby. Although you can pick up a cheap second-hand one from around $2,000. So I asked Jamie, how could he afford such a sport? Um, by working hard. Yeah. Basically, we can have during the week. Um, it's, it's just a drive. If you, you know, if you really want to do it, once you start doing it, you've got to. You want more and more. You want better skis. You yeah. want better equipment. So um, you just got to work harder. Where do you work? I work for a company called Sports Promotions. Great. We uh, we do accessories and performance parts for for our jet skis. Oh, okay. And motorcycles. Can um, you can you get any sponsorship? Yes. Yeah. I've got a couple of spots. I've got Caltex, um, Sports Pro, which is uh, Bad Boy Club clothing. Okay. Um, White Brothers performance parts. Um, sponsors definitely help out a lot. You've got to have sponsors. Yeah. What about women? Do you get? What about them? Do you? Um, do they find it an attractive sport? Well, they tend to. Yeah. 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 They, they come in droves down to the beach. Really? Uh, Packs. <laughs> yeah, we could barely move for them today, could we? <laughs> <laughs> no, no it's, it's just an entertaining sport to watch, so it attracts all sorts of people. Yeah. As you take off, pull yourself up into your knees. Okay. Shall I do it? Go for it. Okay. Right. I wasn't really that bad, P. They only they used, they only used the bits of me I falling know. off. My I did some good rides. <laughs> we believe you. 
I like the bit where they go underneath the water. That looks They're amazing. amazing. Submarines. Look what I got off the net. There's a picture of Angela, Rachel, yeah, Rachel McKenna. She's pretty. If you want to find that Shortland Street homepage on the web, just look it up using the net search. Look up Shortland. It'll find it really easy. It's cool. simple.